Hi, my name's Caleb. And I'm Cammy. And I'm Daniel. And, and we're, we're doing... doing These are three examples of solid, liquid, and gas. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was opening my locker. My lock and my locker are both solid, so no one can break in. Kinetic molecular theory proves this, because there is no space between the particles. Well, hello there. I didn't see you there. I was just washing my hands. As you can see, liquid is one of three states of matter. It can be good and bad for us, ranging from water to clean dirt off our hands, and poison, killing us instantly when we drink it. Uh, molecules in liquid are different from solid as solids are packed together tightly. Molecules in liquid slip past each other uh, so slowly and steadily, not as fast as gas, but as kind of the average of all the states. Gas is the third state of matter. The particles have so much energy, they can fly past each other. Look at all the gas around me. It's affecting the flag and the trees. As you can see here, there are two states of matter. The solid and the liquid. As you can see, when a rock is dumped into the glass of liquid, the particles inside the rock slip past the liquid particles, therefore making the water rise. The one to shake though. This is a liquid. Liquid's particles can slip past each other, as I'm doing right now. But states of matter can change and the particles can react to them when different things occur to them, as if this water would be frozen. See how the liquid is changing to solid? That is because of the freezing. The state of matter changes because of temperatures. Once again, we're going to change water into something else with temperature. Except now it's going to transform into vapor. In a bit of time, it'll turn into vapor. Just watch. It has taken a bit of time, but the water has started to boil. See all the bubbles rising to the top? And if I put my hand here above the vapor, condensation will occur.